I'm calling down there. I'm like, hey, I don't like what's going on here. I know she had a major surgery. I know there's a huge problem. We go back and forth, back and forth. Her platelets are climbing. Well, you know, that's reactive because her spleen is out. Uh, they're really skyrocketing. I take her back three times. The markers, they're flying up. I call down there. I said, hey, I appreciate and love you guys. You missed something. We were supposed to go down on a Friday. On a Thursday, I took Carmen to lunch. This is the fall, maybe. I don't know. I have <laughs> October, November. My whole last year is a blur. We're out to lunch. She's fine. She gets up. I'm not feeling well. We get in the car. She's talking. Mom, I don't. And her whole face went. And I yanked the car over. I called 911. I said, meet me in the driveway. I pull her out of the car. I didn't know if she was coding. I was going to, I pulled her out in case I had to do CPR on the side of the road. She gets on her knees, opens her mouth, projectile vomiting. I get to my house. The ambulance is there. I'm like, hook her up. I think she's coding. I don't know if she's having a heart attack or a stroke. Her heart rate was in the 50s, back to children's. I said, you guys said you did a million dollar workup. You did everything. Whatever you didn't do, we need to do that. Bone marrow. A week later, she had a bone marrow biopsy. They uh, can look at wet mount in the room. They said it doesn't look like leukemia or lymphoma. You should know by Christmas. But they did tell me that her platelets were two and a half million, which they even agreed at that point was definitely not reacting from the spleen. So we were in massive panic mode. And they called us probably days before Christmas, last Christmas, stunk because of this gloom that was hanging over the holiday season. Um, you know, and they essentially called us down there. So we go down there, we're in this huge room, all these people come in. I'm sitting and I stand because I was like totally intimidated. Genetic doctors, counselors, all these people. And they said um, she has essential thrombocythemia with a JAK2 mutation. And, uh, you know, I don't know. It just felt like we were like getting punched in the face. Like I couldn't believe it.